JR here from the Brush Fires Ministry. So today we're going to be looking at one of the areas that creates great division within relationships, within the body of Christ, and that is the area of temperaments that we refer to as how you evaluate information. This is the thinker-feeler assessment. And the thinker-feeler assessment, the thinker is going to look at things from a very logical, uh, very specific, uh, analytical type of approach, uh, and really going to be looking at the ideas as, as opposed to the feelings. Whereas a feeler is going to be looking at things from, you know, what are the values of this ind individual, less what are the ideas and thoughts. They're going to be looking at this as to how does it specifically uh, impact uh, our tribe and how is it going to impact my uh, co-workers and so forth. So the problem happens here is that the perception of a feeler to a thinker oftentimes is that they have no feelings, that they're making decisions without any kind of uh, understanding of how this is impacting the community. And so a feeler will um, build up some frustration with a thinker and eventually come and speak their mind, which is what they need to do to get it off their chest. The problem is they don't understand what kind of impact that has on their relationship. You see, a thinker is a person that's going to extend uh, love by trusting you, by allowing you into their world to be able to work with you, to be able to collaborate with you. Whereas a feeler is going to be more passionate, going to be overt in their emotions. The problem is, is that when a feeler goes after a thinker for being uncaring, and feels good about getting it off their chest, they have now just created a real division in that relationship. The problem here is that the thinker is now going to withdraw from that relationship because they can't trust to be around that feeler because they won't be treated fairly. They will be accused of something that they haven't uh, actually done. That they, you know, contrary to common belief, thinkers really do have feelings. They just don't. Um, it's just not as obvious and they aren't as swayed by those emotions. If you want to look at this in the real world, look at a cop that has got to execute the uh, law but is not the judge of the law or a surgeon as opposed to somebody that is very uh, much in touch with working with uh, people that are uh, hurting and you need that sympathetic ear. So if you have thinkers in your life, feelers, be careful and Thinkers, if you got feelers in your life, listen when you might have been a little bit more um, curt than you intended to be. All right? You guys go to brushfires-digital.com. If you have any questions, take our assessments. Let's see where your thinker feelers uh, actually go. Cheers.